Set in East County Longford, in the Irish Midlands, lies the village of Abbey Shrule. Surrounded by a mixture of rich agricultural land and bog, the village fords the River Inney on Ethan on the eastern boundary, whilst the Royal Canal on Canal Riaga forms the perimeter on the west, with the harbour nestled in the village. The remains of the ancient monastic abbey and parish graveyard lie to the southeast of the village. Immediately north is the Whitworth Aqueduct, a well-preserved example of 19th century stone masonry. Including the Whitworth Aqueduct, there are four bridges within the confines of the village. Known also in early Christian times as Shrule or Shrowl, the village takes its name from the Gaelic word for stream or river. Abbey Shrule, the Abbey on the River. It is within these bridges that we endeavour to integrate all our natural amenities and waterways, heritage and monuments which we are fortunate to have. All development and planning in Abbey Shrule is carried out with a partnership arrangement with the Local County Council and Waterways Ireland as the main stakeholders. Abbey Shrule Tidy Villages has a three-year action plan that is updated annually and reviewed with relevant stakeholders. Did every group have a three-year plan, an ongoing plan of what we want to do and what we should do and what local authorities would recommend and what the National Tidy Towns competition themselves would recommend. When we developed our own plan, we got advice, professional advice, and I think it's the only way to go about it is to have a good approach plan planned over two or three years and keep up with it and that as we see uh, potential there. Cleanliness is the big thing, floral displays is the big thing, Pre presentation of uh, public buildings, residential areas, very very important and promotion of recreational walks and boating, very very important. Well, in the built environment section, uh, it's very much a snowball effect where people, if they see their neighbours painting their house and their house looks well and it gets mentioned, that they'll follow suit and they'll, they'll do the same the next year and there'll be a little bit of competition between houses, which is all good for us. And uh, in particular, as you see around the, the village, there are some beautiful gardens. Colour schemes are standardised throughout the village based on the natural and built environment and what seasonal planting will complement the landscape. Permanent and seasonal planting is coordinated and planned well in advance. Soil areas are prepared and examined for suitability and maximum impact and appropriateness for species chosen. Um, in Abbey Shrule, as with other villages, where you have nice picnic areas, where you have areas where people can park, can fish in comfort and walk along the banks of the canal, admire sculptures that's there, that'll make them stop, make them take an interest in your place, make them stop and make an awareness of the... We have three lovely walks in our village area and they'll stop here and they'll say, all right, we'll go for a walk, it's only an hour and a half, it's three kilometres or something like that, and then we'll go and we'll have a cup of coffee, uh, or the children can fish and... Kids can canoe in the canal, they can fish in the Indy River as well. The rewatering of the Royal Canal and provision of river and canal bank walkways has attracted a lot of fishermen to our area and along with the airfield, annual vintage displays and the Goldsmith Summer School, we have quite an abundance of tourists and sightseers to our village. Our canal banks are a valued resource and afford a focal point for families and village folk to meet and enjoy activities. There are many green open spaces, both formal and informal in the village. Our two housing developments have generous green space allocations, which reflect the relaxed open plan of the village and priority is given to sustainable and positive living spaces for village inhabitants. The village green, Fisherman's Haven and Canal Harbour areas are well maintained throughout the year, whereas other green spaces allow for less maintenance given their waterside location or biodiversity sensitivities. Work is also progressing on the provision of wildlife signage for the bird sanctuary and fishing areas. 
We try to integrate our youth and our older folk any way we can through local events. Even our painting team and planting and weeding teams engage with our school-aged children who are out in the evenings doing their work with the adults and making their contribution. There is pansies and roses and African daisies in Abu Shul. My favourite flowers is the pansies. And I like Abu Shul because of all the bright flowers and colours. It's very important to pick up litter when you see it on the ground and put it in your car and keep driving until you find the bin and you don't just throw it behind the bush, you have to keep going until you find a bin. You can do lots of fun things in Aberystwyth. You can go and cycle and there's lovely rivers and places you can walk to and I like Aberystwyth because of that. The setup of Tidy Villages and the constitution of Tidy Villages is having different people taking on different tasks and there's a lot of meeting in it and a lot of, it brings people out more into the community, cross talk, getting people showing their different interests in gardening, sowing trees, sowing shrubs and you, you work on people's strengths and it integrates a lot of people into the the, in pursuit of the one goal and that's to be successful at Tidy Towns and as well as that like there's no monetary reward in tidy towns and the only reward we get is the pride that we have achieved something in it in our lifetime we're just passing through and that we leave a mark after us and the goodness and the help and all the rest and the assistance that come out of it it makes you feel proud to be from abishul and that it's a lovely village and we're part of a great community and it's a good place to live in. Mm -hmm.